Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Hattie, I'm a UK based anime figure collector and cosplayer. Before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to say a really quick thank you to everybody that has subscribed so far. I wasn't expecting quite so many subscribers, don't get me wrong it's not masses, but when I first started I was literally just thinking to do this for fun um, and I think I've gotten quite a few compared to what my, like, most social medias um, in the first couple of videos so thank you for that i really do appreciate it um i hope that you're all doing okay in today's video um we are going to be unboxing something that i showed you guys in my may haul um as you are probably well aware by now i have got a bit of an infinity with racing mikus um i have got the majority of the scales bar a couple um they are one of my favorite um Miku design, so I always do try to get them when they come out. Um, we are actually going back to 2014 for this one. This is the Racing Miku Mirai version. Um, I bought her from Hobby Ultra, which is the lesser based company that I have spoken to you guys about quite a bit on here. Um, she was an X display piece, so she has been opened up before, but this is the first time that I'll be taking her out of the box, and I thought that I would share it with you guys. Um, she is a really really cute figure one of my favorite things about this one um, is the pose and the dynamics of her hair um and honestly i do think probably bar the 2018 design i think it was i'll put it up here i've probably got the date wrong but it's up here this is probably my favorite miku um in her racing gear after that one um I just really really love it so I was really happy to pick her up um, this is actually my first Max Factory unboxing so I'm really curious to see what I'll think of it compared to the others because a lot of my other racing makers tend to be more good smile company um, I think they are literally just good smile company looking at them yeah I think they're pretty much good smile company but we'll get this opened up and we can see what we think of her she does look really cute though so I'm quite excited um, as I said she's already been opened up so we don't really need to worry about seals or anything on this one she is a one in seven scale I think yeah one in seven and she literally as you can probably just see from earlier she's a window box package so she's got the um, front window and she's got another one on the back here and she has got the authenticity sticker I could see it earlier where are we just on the side of her box here um I do want to apologize if you can hear like birds and things in the background it's a really really nice day today and because it's quite dark in my room I do have to film with the door open so um yeah if you can hear any like magpies or anything that's that's because they are nesting on my roof so <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at her outside her list. No, Mister. Okay, so right, I'll show you guys. Um, as you can see, her pigtails aren't connected yet. But um, to be honest, I'm kind of glad for that because um, imagine if they snapped inside the box. So I do, I do appreciate the reasons why they don't attach the pig pigtails manually. Um, oh, sugar, right? Okay. Oh, she is held in a tie. Okay, so we'll get her out of her blister pack. Oh, there's one pigtail. I'll show you these guys in a minute. Call that a very light. Okay. And she's out. Okay, yeah, no, she's incredible. She's really, really pretty. I will just show you her here. The body sculpt is probably one of the best of the Mika figures I've got, to be fair. And considering she came back in 20, out in 2014, I'm genuinely surprised. The shading on here is really, really good as well. And I love, something that I love about this figure a lot, is the fact that the hat, I think it's just the hat? The helmet, sorry has got like a glossy sheen it's gonna pick up that'd be wonderful compared to the rest and the panel in here is actually a transparent plastic so she would be able to see through it if she had it on um i'm gonna attach her pigtails now um oh what pigtails which right we're gonna go in for the guess so we'll pop her
these are really really light um so with this figure i paid 120 pounds for her um, and i think the reason that she was fairly cheap was purely because she was an x display model um but that didn't bother me at all because the company had actually put pictures up of her on their social media um, and as soon as i saw it i knew that i had to get her so i picked her up um it's just a bit of trouble with this one here These are quite fiddly, so I will just give you a word of warning with that. Okay, so to be honest, the pig, the, this pigtail doesn't sit in the best, but you can't see it underneath the headpiece, so it doesn't actually matter too much but I absolutely love it the hair looks stunning on her um yeah no I'm really really impressed to be fair considering as I said earlier she is a bit of an older model for good smile um she still stands as one of my favorite racing me because I'm so 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 glad that I picked her up um I just really really love her to be quite frank and I cannot wait to add her to my collection at the back here um, her base, I'll quickly show you now. I'll put her down there for a second. It's just the bog standard plain base, but it has got the racer mark going down here. Um, probably she's on the racetrack, just coming off her motorbike by the looks of things. Um, and she literally, I'm hoping she'll slot on quite easily. It's just with two pegs that she's attached and she holds up really really well I cannot wait to get some beef roll footage of this just to show you guys a little bit closer but she is absolutely gorgeous a lot of people um, I actually had a snoop on myfigure.net and back to the comments when she was first released as a prototype and so many people complained about her expression but I actually love it like a lot I think it looks really really cute and it just looks like the wings caught into her hair and obviously it's taken her a bit by surprise though I do have genuine concerns about how she fit all that hair into that helmet but um I suppose what can you say it's me cool she's probably got some wonderful hairstylist that does something for her but um yeah no she is absolutely stunning um if you are ever able to pick her up and you are a Hatsune Miku fan particularly of the racing figures I would a hundred percent recommend getting this one to add to your collection because she's definitely worth it um I just I love her to pieces and although she's still in a bikini I do think some of the aspects of this figure are still quite appropriate 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 for the um, racing Miku like I love that she's got the leather jacket on the um, shin pads and the little gauntlets on her hand I just think it's a really really good representation of what the racing theme is because to be honest some of the costumes recently um, have been a bit questionable um, I wasn't actually a fan don't come for me for the idol um, theme that they did a couple of years ago um, I just wasn't too fond of it I think my favourite ever Racing Miku has to be the Racing Miku 2020 version. Um, hands down, I have only literally got one figure of her at the moment though, and that is her Nendroid. So I'm hoping at some point I might actually be able to pick up her scale. Um, she's just gorgeous. Everything about her design I absolutely love. Um, I will put her image up here so you know which one I'm talking about if you aren't versed in the Racing Miku um, designs. But yeah. Hopefully one day um, I'll be able to show you guys a figure of that um, if I ever get around to getting one. But um, that pretty much rounds up this video for today, guys. Um, I will pop up some VB roll footage so you can see all the details of um, this Miku. Um, 
Again, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's supported the channel so far. Um, I do hope that you continue to enjoy my content. Um, and I will be back again very soon with probably another unboxing. I have still got a few to get through. And I've got a couple of pre-orders coming up, which is really exciting. And yeah, um, take care of yourselves, guys. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.